Okay, so today I'm going to make a, hopefully a quick video. It may or may not be fairly quick. Um, and I found this the other day on accident. I was not aware that the Anacubic could do this. Maybe you're like me. You don't fully know all the things that your machine can do. <clears throat> Originally, I saw this on a video by Uncle Jesse on YouTube. You can go look him up if you'd like. Um, on the Elegoo, I think it was the Saturn on cleaning the vat when you have a uh, misprint or something of that nature. Now, I've finished this print uh, through the night. I haven't cleaned anything up yet, but I noticed, I believe, that one of my prints failed. So what I always do is I quickly try to clean off the top of the build plate with any residual... Uh, resin that's up there and then pull which if you notice I've got a couple of misprints here I don't know if you can see it or not this one here this wheel back here did not print and then this piece here did not print either so that means especially with this smaller piece over here that's sitting at the bottom of the vat. So, the good thing is I've got one of those magnetic plates so I can pull the thing off the build plate. I'll set that over there. And now, what I'm gonna show you is on the Anacubic, you can do this cheat where I put my little piece. All right, right here. So I know from where that build plate was, there's something right down in here. At least there should be there it is there's something right there yeah I don't feel anything else in there but there's something on the vat right there now instead of pulling the, the the build plate and the vat and everything else and doing a full-on clean you can clean the FEP through the settings this is the main home screen what I'm doing is I'm going to Tools, Exposure, and that one right there, it's going to do a 10 second. I'm going to take a piece of uh, support that I save after a print. I'm going to set it down on the, the FEP. And I pushed it down, making sure that it's all the way in contact with the FEP. I'm going to do it right about there. Let me hit next. Sorry, I'm balancing my iPad. So that's why it's a little bit shaky. And that's the end of it. And now, oh, it didn't work. I didn't go all the way over far enough. Okay, back, exposure. This is perfect. The first time I try to video this and it fails. So we'll do it again. Now, since I already, I, I think I just totally screwed this up. Well, there went part of it. You get the general gist of the, I, I really screwed this up. But you can see there's two layers there now of exposed resin. There, there it goes. So since I didn't get it, I pulled it up enough to where I can just pull that fully exposed layer, which right there is what I was trying to get is that little chunk of stuff that was on the FEP. And feeling around in there, there's nothing else. I did get all the stuff. Oh, I just made a mess, I think. Now what I can do, since I'm not completely sure, I can set this back in here in the corner 
And I can try this one more time to make sure that I got all the parts of this exposed test to clean the, the FEP and get rid of that. Clean my hands off a little bit with all the excess resin. And I guess since I'm showing this, shows even if you mess it up and make a mistake, you can still get it. And we'll do it one more time. And this is in the corner, all the way down. Let's see what happens this time. Just to make sure I've got the fat completely clean. Because I think there's a little section. It may have been what I pulled off originally. Now, if you need to adjust your time, there we go, look at that. And that pulls your exposure off. So whatever was on your FEP is now gone. <clears throat> and if you see this little section here of my supports was right on that corner and easily pulled off everything in the exposure field. So if you had something there, it's now clean and you no longer have to pull your vat and dump all your resin and have a 30 minute cleanup from a print failure. And the cool thing is that after you, uh, after you do your cleaning, you can pull this part off and reuse it to go ahead and stick it back in there. You don't have to t throw this away as well. You can just pull it off of that section that you peeled off of, of there and then set this aside. I would suggest cleaning it so you don't have resin and whatnot sitting around. <clears throat> but you can clean it off and then reuse it later if you need to. So you don't know, you don't need to save all your support pieces. Just one that's big enough that you can get a hold of when it's in the vat. Which was that piece that you just saw me pull out a second ago. And here it is again after I clean it up. And I'll save that over there for future cleanups. There you go. Okay, and just to show real quick. I don't, I'm, I'm finished uh, printing for a while, I think. So I don't want to leave resin sitting in the vat. I don't know if you can do that or if you should or shouldn't do that. Um, I'm going to assume that it's not a good idea to leave it uh, sitting. So since I'm done with my print, uh, catalog that I currently have on my thumb drive. I'm going to go ahead and clean out the vat, but I'm going to show you that after doing that quick clean, hopefully this is, yeah, most of it's there. Now the strainers that I have go very slow, so I have to pour this slowly. Otherwise it'll dump all over the place. But quickly noticing right off the bat, it's out of frame, but I'll show you here in a second. As soon as this kind of stops dripping. My vat is, com or my FEP is completely clean. There's no, I'm gonna wipe this down a little bit. Give me two seconds, a little longer than two seconds. Okay, put that over there and there it is. It's completely clear. There's nothing on there other than a little bit of residual resin, which I'll have to clean this up a little bit better. But that failure was completely cleaned off through using the exposure. And I just wiped my face after touching resin. That's awesome. Yeah, there you go. Don't do that. That's not a good thing. All right, all done. So there you go. 
Sorry it went, took a little bit longer than I thought, plus the fact I messed it up, but still got it clean. So there's your tip of the day. You'll have a great day. Take care. See ya.